Hello guys and welcome back to Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Justice for All. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and finished up Turnabout Big Top. Everything ended up pretty much okay. And also, we the player learned, no one else in the universe really knows this, except for Gumshoe, but we learned that Miles Edgeworth is in fact alive. So that's a pretty interesting reveal. Uh, we are now in March 20th of 2018, at least in the game. I wonder how close that'll be when I release this video to March 20th. It would be really cool if I released the finale on the day that the game ends on, because this is in fact the final case, Farewell My Turnabout, same amount of cases as the original version of the first game. So, yeah, without further ado, without further ado I'm kind of stalling on this opening. I'm super excited for this case because... The game somehow goes from one of the worst cases in the entire series to one of the bests. So without further ado, let's jump right in to Farewell My Turnabout. Alright! Yes! Did you hear that, Nick? Did you? The Nickel Samurai! He did it! Yeah, he sure did. Ugh, I'm getting too old for this. Hey, here's Will Powers from the third case of the first game. He just randomly shows up here. In fact, this takes place in the Gatewater Hotel, a place that appeared in Case 2 of the first game, and has been referenced ever since whenever you look out the window of the Wright & Co. Law Offices. So we get to visit it, visit it again this time. We only ever saw April May's room in the last game. So it's awesome to see a bit more of it in this game. Okay, I'm, I need to remember how to do this guy's voice, but I don't want it to go into Mo territory. Oh, I'm proud of the guy for doing the series justice. Um, so the person everyone was cheering for, I guess he got the prize? Yup. You know who we're talking about, right, Pearly? The Nickel Samurai. No. Every Sunday, I only watch the educational channel's Kids Masterpiece Theater. Okay, that's it. From now on, it's the Nickel Samurai. All the kids watch it. Do you like the Nickel Samurai too, Mr. Nick? Nah, Nick's an old fart, so he's not allowed to watch it anymore. That's right, but I do like Kids in Masterpiece Theater. Hey, I didn't know you were so young at heart, Nick. Mr. Nick, you're a grown-up. You're not allowed to watch it anymore. You're supposed to act your age and have interests that match. Ugh, Pearl, Pearl is one of those people. It's very important. Aw, give it a rest, Pearly. Looks like I made it... Looks like I made the right choice here. Inviting everyone here. I'm glad you're all having a good time. Ah, it's like a dream. Too bad for the Jam and Ninja, though. Last year he lost to the Pink Princess, warrior of little old Tokyo. I thought this might be his year. Yeah. Oh, hey, did anyone else think that the Jam and Ninja was a bit different today? Different? What do you mean? Um, well, he wasn't carrying this bright red guitar. Hey, you're right. Strange you'd walk around without his signature guitar. Ugh, I would never understand these people in their shows. Anyway, Mr. Powers, thank you very much for tonight. Well, oh, it was nothing. I owe you one, so it's just my way of saying thanks. Hey, Nick, come on. It's time to get going to the lobby. There's a post-ceremony stage show there that's supposed to start real soon. And then I heard there's going to be a press conference after that press conference. Is he going to make a speech about winning this year's prize? Uh, well, not exactly. Something about the Nickel Samurai confessing something. Confessing? Sounds pretty serious. Ah, Nick, come on! You don't want us to be the last ones there, do you? Yeah, Mr. Nick. Do you? Why me? The show doesn't even start for another 20 minutes. Alrighty, so first of all, let's do what we do whenever we go anywhere in Ace Attorney. Examine pretty much everything. What can I say? This is a really high-class hotel. I've never eaten this kind of salad before. Poor Pearls. I've been eating only vegetables all her life. She's been missing out. Don't worry. Any leftovers belong in my happily awaiting stomach anyway. You're such a glutton, Maya. Oh, I lose this one to Maya. You sure can eat. Well, a grown girl needs her nutrients. A grown girl. Exactly how big do you plan on getting? Uh, funnily enough, there was a lobster in this area, um, in the original Japanese version that looked incredibly phallic. 
there's a bit of trivia for you. There's a grand set of doors over there. And behind those doors is, a, is an equally grand lobby. Shall we go take a look, Mr. Nick? Hey, wait up. This grand dessert is calling to me. It's saying, eat me now. Ah, uh, never change, Maya. That chandelier is really something, isn't it? I thought it was kind of a... Sp I thought it was a kind of spaceship. Hey, Nick. How about we get one of these for the office? One of those hanging from our poor, weak ceiling? I don't think so. The award ceremony was just held on that stage. It's really fabulous. I was just about to say Max Galactica is rubbing off on Nick. He even reminded me of the circus for a second. Well, shows like that are guaranteed to be good, you know. This is all a dream, I don't ever want to wake up. And all the directors and stars that were here to see the heroes? Wow. I had no idea who most of them were. Neither did I. Nick, you've got to cut that news-only habit out. Your new show is going to be The Nickel Samurai, every Sunday morning at 8. Oh, I know. We can watch it together starting next week. I'll come wake you up extra early to make sure, okay? Ugh, I'm fine. No, you really don't have to on my account. Alright, I think that's about everything. Uh, next we want to go ahead and... Here's my attorney's badge. Ah, oh, I really owe you one. If it wasn't for you guys, I don't know what I would have... What would have happened. What you did. It was a real tight spot I was in. You fought so hard to get me out. I don't care what happens. I'll never forget everything you've done for me. That's really nice to see. Uh, I don't have Will Powers' profile, so here's Maya instead. So, you're going to study and become a lawyer too. Am I right, or am I right? Um... It must be real tough. There's all those thick books with hard words you have to read. Um... Uh, well... Oh, yeah. Mr. Powers doesn't know that Maya's a spirit medium. I thought he'd be able to tell by my clothes. Maybe he thinks that you've got some strange hobby on the side or something. Hey, wait a sec, what's that supposed to mean? Alright, what, what have you got to say to us, Powers? Thank you very much for inviting us today. Oh, it was nothing, really. Guys like us don't get to come to a place like this often, so I thought I'd invite you all. Hey, Mr. Powers, what have you been up to lately? Well, since the Pink Princess successfully wrapped up last month, I've been on a kid's exercise show while wearing a rabbit mask over my face. Oh, I see. I'm still really sorry about the headaches I caused that time, Mr. Wright. Ah, well, what's done is done, so let's forget about it. This is Will Powers. He's an action star. His popularity exploded when he was the Steel Samurai. And he was the first case Maya worked on with me. You can't tell by looking at you, but you're a really nice guy with a love of kids. Aw, oh, thanks. Can't believe they're going to make a movie based on the Nickel Samurai. I can't believe it either, but for a different reason. In the Steel Samurai, an epic story of one hero in a desperate fight against his archenemy, the evil magistrate, in the city of Neo Old Tokyo. And last year they started a new series, The Nickel Samurai. The new series seems to be a hit with the kids too. The Steel Samurai is a show I have a lot of strong feelings for. So I hope that uh, maybe I'd get a chance to do something in this new one. Yeah, it's too bad. It'd be great to see you on the show. With the new actor, Matt on guard, he's super popular right now. Mr. On guard? Looks like Pearls doesn't know who he is. This year is going to be the Nickel Samurai vs. the Jammin Ninja at the box office. Jammin Ninja? Who's that again? So who's this jammin' ninja again? He's a hero! Duh! His symbol's a bright red guitar he's always carrying. Ninja who's always carrying around a bright red guitar? How does that even work? <laughs> With a scarf around his neck and a guitar in hand, he rises to stardom in an ancient time. A ninja who becomes a star? Yeah, a ninja who becomes a star. There's a strong rivalry between the two of them. 
Global Studios as Nickel Samurai and Worldwide Studios as Jam and Ninja. They even air at the same time. You know what I heard? I heard those two don't get along at all. The Nickel Samurai's on guard, and the guy who plays the Jam and Ninja, I mean. The Nickel Samurai speaks French? Oh, you mean Matt on guard, the actor. I guess the world of heroes isn't, isn't a sparkling happy place. Y yeah. Hallway. Also, yeah, just early on, this case has an overabundance of bears in it, so be prepared for that. Wow, what is this place? Looks like I've stumbled into Oz or something. Hey, nice reference. Way in the back, there's a sign for the bathroom. I bet we have a little time to look around before the show starts. Hello, Mr. Bear. I can understand flowers in front of the dressing rooms, but what are stuffed bears doing here? Could it be that there's an action star who has a soft spot for teddy bears? Nah, can't be. Uh, one thing that actually is improved in the HD re-releases is that instead of like having this sort of crosshair thing, which I think looks super cool, instead they have a magnifying glass that has a check mark in it whenever you have inspected something, so you, you can be like, hey, if I hover the cursor over all of this stuff, I'll know which ones I've inspected and which ones I've don't. And since I like to inspect everything, it's kind of hard to keep track in the original DS version. Uh, but that's just one small uh, thing. But that's not really enough to get me to switch over to the HD port. I still enjoy looking at the DS version more. There are toilets in each room in this hotel. Since all sorts of events are held here, there are bathrooms for people who aren't staying here to use as well. Perfect for people like me who can't afford to stay here in the first place. There's a piece of paper taped to the door that says, Matt on Guard's room. Matt on Guard. I've heard that name before. Oh yeah, Maya's always yammering about him like the obsessed fan she is. And it, it, does it say who it is on this door? There's a piece of paper taped to, to the door that says Juan Carita's room. Juan Carita. His name just sounds like a star's name. I've heard it before, but I don't know anything about him at all. I guess there's not really anything here to look at, so let's move back to Viola Hall. Sounds like the post-ceremony show is about to start. Alright, I'm so pumped. I wonder if he's going to show off his special move today, Nickel Samurai Smelting. Actually, what I'm interested in most is the press conference. You mean the big confession the Nickel Samurai is going to make after the show? So what is it? Don't you know what it's about, Mr. Powers? Oh, well, I'm not the Steel Samurai anymore, so I don't have any idea. Bah. Sorry. Well, I guess you are all going to the press conference then. Yeah, of course. If that's the case, then here, take these tickets so you can get in. Press conference tickets added to the court record. Thank you very much. Well, let's get going to the lobby. It looks like it's going... It looks like it's over this way, Mr. Nick. Okay, for great justice. I feel like that's a catchphrase in something else, too. Oh no, that was... What I'm thinking of is the Steel Samurai's catchphrase in Ace Attorney 1. Because that's like a big thing that... Uh, Mia says to Cody in that case. Anyway, hotel lobby. Hmm. Only a really gaudy hotel would have such a large, gaudy lobby to match. Ah, I think they're going to have the post-ceremony show over there. They're using a compact stage, I see. Ooh, I'm all ready to use my special samurai power. Maya looks like she's ready to start a fight. <laughs> Your attention, please. Your attention, please. The Nickel Samurai's post-ceremony stage show will not be held tonight due to unf unforeseen circumstances. What? Why? Ow, you didn't have to pinch me. Pinch yourself if you don't believe it. We are asking for everyone's cooperation at this time. So please, stay where you are. And this is a special request from the police. Police? Did they say police? Do you want me to go check out what's going on? 
Um, wait, I'll come with you. Please! You two! Didn't you hear the announcement just now? It's... It just finished telling you not to move. That voice! I've heard it somewhere before. Honestly, you these days can't be bothered to listen to other people when they... Just the other day, I was the same thing, but... I'm the same thing, I told the boy to listen to the boy. Listen to me, of course not. You say that, you say that. This non-stop chatter... It can't be... Miss Old Bag? Oh, what is it, you young whippersnappers? Do I know you? Wait, you! You're powers, aren't you? Yeah, um, what about... about what happened back then? You didn't get nominated last year either, did you? Oh, that's right, you're doing that children's exercise program trying to play nice. Oh, yeah, that's me. Thankfully, I still have a job. I love that show. You're a hoot. You have the big brother character, right? Yeah, same with your face covered in my eyes. I still know. Um, what are you doing here? Look at my uniform and tell me you can't tell I'm a member of security. That outfit. Annoying nosy brats getting the blaster. Ugh, everyone's favorite character is back. It's the stage for the post-ceremony stage show. It was supposed to be a press meeting after the show, but now... Looks like no one will hear what the Noko Samurai had to confess after all. I'm going to say these cameras were set up to cover the post-ceremony stage show. But I wonder where everyone's gone, abandoned, abandoning their cameras like this. I guess something big must have happened. We're here, so we might as well take some pictures. Okay, everyone, sit in a chair. But we're all out of film. Don't worry about it. There's a zillion cameras over there we can borrow. Hey, hey, you can't just go and borrow an expensive professional camera like that. Wow, looks like there's a fancy restaurant on the second floor. You still feel like eating? I mean, since we're here, you know. Don't pull the since we're here trick on me. What a beautiful mansion! Do you live in this wonder? Do you live in this wonderful world every day, Mr. Nick? Oh no, this is my first time in a place like this. Well, you did come here last year too. All right, attorney's badge. These eyes of mine are real pros now. Pros? Pros at doing what? At doing police work, of course. My eyes are like a hawk. I'm realizing now that my old bag voice is very much like my Trillo voice. And they even got the same theme music, so... I don't know, I just can't really do an old lady voice. And my professional eyes spot a messy incident. A messy, bloody incident. That's why I don't have time for you meddling kids and your petty little things. Here's your thing here. Security lady. I'm pretty sure her real name is Wendy Old... Nick, you know her! Why are you... Also, it's incredibly weird that Will Powers is a year younger than Phoenix, but I'll put that aside for now. And you have the same dialogue for that, so I guess we can just talk to you. Which is better, because um, I'd prefer to get this over with. Miss Oldbag, what are you doing here? What happened to your position at Global Studios? Oh, that old place? Well, since that incident, they've been letting people go. When they got the security team, I got the pink slip. What incident? What did you do? I didn't do anything, you youngin. Don't you remember? That incident a year ago. When this lady got on the witness stand and testified. Y yeah And you, weren't you the one who was bullying me? This fragile girl at heart. Um, I plead the fifth. But you know, I think maybe I've read the upper management the wrong way by testifying. Yes, that has to be it. Everything is all your fault. Me? I thought about being a bodyguard at first. After being handed the old pinky. You? A bodyguard? For your friend, that fiery, good-looking man with the red jacket and the ruffles. Mr. Edgeworth. But... 
That sort of arrangement would be entirely too troublesome for me. That's what he said to me. What did I ever do to deserve that? Um, so did something happen? I don't have all the details, but it looks like another one of those incidents happened again. An incident? Like a murder kind of incident? Maybe. You see, I'm a bit of a devilish woman. So wherever I go, a rain of blood. So wherever I go, a rain of blood will come pouring down. Bet you didn't know that. Um, then shouldn't you quit being a security guard, at least for other people's sake? Silence, whippersnapper! Hey, Nick. What is it? I don't like that devilish smile playing on your lips. Let's make like we're going to the bathroom and check things out. N no way. The police told us not to go anywhere, remember? Huh? How about B-O-R-I-N-G? You're such a boring guy. You've got no motivation. No spirit. Huh? What's going on? Are you giving Mystic Mind trouble again, Mr. Nick? Not you two pearls. Please don't stick your little nose into this one. So listen to this, Pearly. This one time at lawyer camp, Nick- uh, Okay, I get it. Let's go take a look. Yay! I knew you couldn't say no to me, Nick. That's right. You'd walk over miles of hot coals for Mystic Maya, wouldn't you, Mr. Nick? That would be every time we work a case together. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go already. You can come along too, Pearly. Goody! I get to come. I get to come! But anyways, I think that's going to be it for this episode. It was a bit exhausting seeing Old Bad G again, but other than that, it's awesome that we're getting back into this case. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye! Goodbye!